Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stadium in Aquarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, I reply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed. Check how it resonates. King of Swords and the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This person is in a very strong masculine energy right now. Some of you, this is someone who is uh, who is emotionally a little bit closed off, emotionally not someone who is very expressive as well here. The King of Swords is someone who possibly wants to communicate, but let's clarify that. This person might be thinking of communication right now. Could be a bit of a dominating person or a controlling person you are dealing with or it's very possible this person has someone in their environment that is a bit dominating or controlling. A father figure or a father. What just happened? That bottom of the deck is two of cups, four of cups, eight of pentacles, and the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. And on the chariot, we have the emperor sitting, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. Oh, and look at that. Below that emperor, we do have the chariot. So we have the emperor repeated thrice here. The emperor energy repeated thrice, and we have hardly pulled out any cards here. So well, this is someone who wants to take action, yes. For some of you, this person was ignoring this person, this, sorry, ignoring this connection. This person was someone who was ignoring you. Could have been very possible that this is a very pessimistic person you are dealing with as well. Someone who focuses on the negative aspects of things, much rather focusing on the positive aspects. But with the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, this is someone who wants to move forward. This is someone who wants to have a new beginning as well here. It's, it's very possible this person is, has been feeling a little bit stuck in their own life. Like with the choices they have made, uh, this person feels stuck in their own life here. This person is feeling, um, it's like things are uninteresting. For some of you, this person is like life is uninteresting, life is boring without you. Because this person itself, like this is the energy I'm getting again. This person, for some of you, they themselves are someone who's a little bit, uh, as I said, not very expressive, a little bit boring kind of a person, someone who's very uptight. Someone who is uh, honest but uptight and not a very fun loving kind of a person. That's what I'm getting for some of you. So this could be a mature person, very you, a very mature person you were dealing with. Or this person has been brought up in an environment where there has been a very controlling masculine energy. Because of which this person is the way they are. Okay, so could be anything for you. Um, but yeah... So this is someone who doesn't express much and life is like, it's like the, this person lives the same kind of life. I'm getting the weird energy from the king of swords. So this person lives the same kind of life day in, day out. And this person feels like things are unexciting. Things are unexciting. Things are uninteresting. Things are not exciting without you. That is why this person wants some excitement. That is, that is why, yes, this person wants some excitement. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person wants to do things differently here. They want to approach you. For some of you, this person really wants to communicate to you. They want to approach you. They want to progress forward. And they want to just get rid of this Four of Cups energy here. Like They want a different kind of an energy. They want to look at life differently. They want to experience life differently here for some of you. 
right. of pentacles sound at the bottom of the deck yes that energy with the sun here showing up in your in your energy you are someone who is happy someone who is fun loving someone who is who is very connected with your inner child you know how to be happy that's the kind of energy i'm getting for some of you this very well could be a new person you are dealing with this is a new person i'm getting that for some of you it doesn't have to be with everyone but this very well could be a new person and this person is seeing you as someone even if it's a whether it's a new person or there's a, a past person here this person is seeing you as someone who's very connected like who's very happy you you are someone who's very happy or you are connected to your inner happiness you're connected to your uh, inner child here Like you have a particular very warm, uh, high vibrational kind of energy. That is how this person uh, is, they see about you or they see you. judgment four of swords in reverse the magician okay we have two major arcanas here nine of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck for some of you finances could be an issue right now and that's where your focus is that you're trying to balance your finances you're trying to find your independence you're trying to find your own footing here you're trying to manifest um you know and and it's not just money it's you're trying to manifest an energy where you don't need no one you might want someone but you don't need no one that's what you're trying to manifest here and yes for some of you you have you are struggling or there has been struggles with money and you are trying to overcome that struggle you're trying to find your footing here you're trying to find your financial independence now when it comes to this person with the four of swords with the four of swords in reverse for some of you you could be you know you are not getting really any sort of rest you could be working really really hard here balancing a lot of things like you're very focused on getting someone like you're very focused on your money and your finances and everything for some of you because we do have the nine of pentacles in reverse you are ready to manifest commitment here because this is someone this very well yeah this is very well someone who is not willing to be stuck in a relationship in a connection in a situation where they're not getting what they want what they deserve for some of you with the nine of pentacles in reverse you're really ready for commitment you have unstuck yourself from a past situation, past connection that wasn't really healthy. You have unstuck yourself from that and you are ready for a new commitment here. So some of you, you are ready for new love. You are ready for a commitment and you are manifesting it. With the magician here, you are manifesting it. So whatever you want to manifest right now, happiness, money, um, independence, commitment, you will be able to manifest that because the magician has all the tools uh, she can possibly need here because this is a she, right? So yeah, you have all the tools. You'll be going through some sort of awakening and transformation here as well. For some of you are letting go of past uh, things is with the judgment here. You're just, you have realized, you have found the truth that you need to let go of some a beliefs some uh, past attachments some past connections uh, some expectations here and that's what you're doing for some of you are releasing past baggage here as well like you seem very like uh, working on yourself that's the kind of energy here like sorting yourself out 
for some of you you're manifesting this past person coming back as well here so for some of you are manifesting a new person new love new commitment but uh, at the same time you're manifesting this past person coming back as well here with the judgment and the magician could be dealing with a scorpio gemini leo or an aries again at the bottom of the deck seven of swords okay hmm let's let me clarify that first could be someone who's strategizing a lot but the king of swords and seven of swords this is someone who wants to approach you wants to have a new beginning with you uh, especially if it's a past person they want to have a new beginning they want to approach you they want to have a stable new beginning here and do something about this connection and this person is someone who's strategizing a lot here could be a very sharp minded person you're dealing with it could be another air sign gemini libra aquarius especially if this is another air sign then this person is someone who's very sharp like they have a they are very um, intelligent kind of person now for some of you because this person is someone who's very intelligent could be also possible that this person uses their sharp mind to get things done here in a way they want it like this person just knows how to get things done so could be someone who has a way with their words very strategic could be a little bit of lying as well with this person lying or trickery of cups three of cups king of swords again yeah this is someone who really wants to talk they really want to communicate yeah this person has been waiting with the three of wands here for some of you this person has been waiting to find uh, they are trying to find the right window of opportunity to approach you this person is not in a rush they're not in a hurry this is someone who's going to strategize think through and then approach you but yeah with the seven of swords for some of you this is someone who you know when they want something because this person wants something they are willing to lie about things a little bit as well here they will they are willing to mince their words in a particular way so that they can get the outcome they want but this person is someone who does uh, they do want a reunion here the ace of pentacles and the three of cups this person wants a reunion and for some of you you could have been the one who's ignoring this person as well you know like you were the one who was very giving to this person very giving to this connection because you were dealing with someone who was much more um as i said not emotionally expressive someone who might not be even for some of you it's very possible this person wasn't really emotionally available as well here so very opposite kind of energy you were the one who was much more emotionally available much more emotionally giving whereas this person was just the opposite of it so now uh, this person really can't handle you ignoring them and that's the reason why this person is keeping planning strategizing to come back here and communicate this person they want to talk here it's like this is someone who really really wants to talk and and this is a strange energy someone who wants to tell you the truth but at the same time they are willing to twist and turn their words a little bit as well here so there is a manipulative energy with this person hmm. it's a strange combination
wants. Yeah, you're ready for commitment. Again, that energy of you are ready for commitment with the four of wands here. You're ready for new offers. You are, but, but at the same time, you're looking for someone who is going to be very consistent, very practical. Someone whose offer is, like they say, they do what they say. They mean what they say. That's the kind of energy you want. Someone who's responsible as well here. You are ready for relationship. In your mind, for some of you, you are thinking of a commitment here as well. And that's why you are trying to find balance. You are trying to... Some of you, you really could have options with the two of pentacles and the four of wands. This very well could have like two people, a new person coming in, a past person wants, is coming around as well. So you might be left with options. Because you are manifesting and it's that energy of you are manifesting new as well as past person here. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have choices in love. Look at that three of swords. The, the past person could have really broken your heart. Look at that queen of cups, king of cups. Yeah, three of swords at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, this past person could have put you in a third party situation. You do have a lot of feelings. You do have a lot of emotions for this person. But at the same time, you are acting emotionally mature here. For some of you, you are manifesting this past person back as well. Like you are um, open to receiving some sort of communication from this past person. But when it comes to your money with the five of pentacles and the magician here, you're definitely ready to manifest. Like you are manifesting money here. Abundance. You are manifesting stability here as well. Also, you're trying to manifest or you are manifesting a connection, a relationship where you don't feel emotionally abandoned. Because look at that. It's with the king of swords and the five of pentacles here. For some of you, this person was so cold. They were so detached. They always used to make head over heart decisions. They could have been manipulative as well. You could have figured out that this person is trying to manipulate you or th this person is, um, you know, a controlling kind of a person, a dominating kind of a person. Uh, someone who also could have had the king of swords repeated twice the emperor here could have had the my way or the highway kind of attitude but this person was you have felt very abandoned by this person left out in the cold by this person whether it's physically abandoned by this person emotionally abandoned by this person but you did feel alone in this connection in this relationship so for some of you you are manifesting a relationship where you don't feel that the other person is not really there. That the other person doesn't really care. That's what we're manifesting here. Some of you, you feel very, um, you feel very alone. You feel, for some of you, you could be feeling lonely as well here. With the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles, you feel very lonely. You feel very alone. You feel like there's no one you can share your cup of love with. You have been, this is that energy of, on your side, this is the energy of someone really wanting a stable relationship, a stable commitment, craving for it. Also, we do have a match here, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be manifesting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Or definitely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you, this past person was, they were ignoring their own feelings. Even if they had feelings for you, they were just ignoring those feelings. Because they just wanted control over this connection. For some of you, this person wants control over, like they want to be in control of their heart. They want to be in control of their own emotions. 
and this person as i said like for some of you this person was brought up in an environment that was very controlling that was not really loving this person might have for some of you this person might have not experienced the love care nurture one deserves in their childhood one gets in their childhood this person might not have experienced that they might have been this person for some of you they might have been emotionally abandoned in their childhood and that's the reason why this person grew up to be someone who is much more emotionally closed off not emotionally someone who is emotionally they don't express themselves they don't open their heart they don't know how to be vulnerable but if this person was someone who was ignoring their own feelings they can't ignore that anymore this person has their own flaws and problems they do but nothing is you know set in stone they can heal themselves they can work on themselves Yeah, four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck could very well be someone who has this need for control. This is the thing, someone who has that had that need for control, someone who's very stubborn. They want to let go of that stubbornness. They want to let go of that need for control. They're ready for some sort of change here. some sort of change the tower for some of you this person has gone through an awakening that's the reason they can't ignore their feelings anymore they have been ignoring their feelings in the past but they can't ignore their feelings anymore because they have gone through a, a spiritual awakening or some sort of realization some sort of epiphanies has happened for this person here three of cups three of swords could very well have been a third party situation again third party doesn't necessarily mean there was another romantic partner involved it's just that it's very possible the third energy could have been their past traumas, past woundings, a controlling father figure, a controlling environment, some thought pattern. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, this person has gone through a massive change here and now this person wants to open up. Now they want to have an equal give and take kind of a relationship. Now they want to be generous. Now they want to open their heart. You really miss this person. For some of you, you really miss this person. But you have got abandoned by this person as well here. So for some of you who are in this kind of energy of I don't know what to do about or think about this connection or this personal relationship. You're trying to make a choice here for some of you. Yeah, seven of wands, a lot of defensiveness with this person. For some of you, this person could have just blocked you, you know, instead of opening up, instead of being vulnerable, this person just blocked and ran away. That's the kind of energy. Could have been escapist kind of an energy with this person as well here for some of you. Yeah, for some of you, this person wants to communicate with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They want to communicate, they want to talk, but they have been really like agonizing uh, over how they should do it. They are a bit freaked out here is the word I got, the exact word I got freaked out thinking about communicating because it's, it's a difficult thing for this person to be vulnerable, to be open, 
to talk about their emotions. This person is not someone who's used to talking about their emotions. Probably this person has never done it in their entire life. Judgment. Wow, the judgment repeated twice in your energy here. You have become very, very aware of what you want and what is good for you, what is healthy for you. You have become very, very aware of it. And also we have the judgment repeated twice in your energy and the tower in this person's energy. You could have gone through a spiritual awakening or spiritual transformation as well here. Some of you, yes, you want another chance with this person, with the judgment. But at the same time, you are aware that you want someone who is reciprocating that energy, right? Six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone who can be a good support system for you. Some, some a kind of relationship where there's giving and receiving, not just giving. two of swords queen of pentacles you have a lot to give and you are manifesting a lot of money as well here queen of swords at the bottom of the deck but you are realizing that because you're someone who's caring who's loving who's nurturing and who wants to be in a commitment uh, really want to be in a commitment really want to be in a relationship you might be ending up giving giving the giving some people the benefit of doubt who doesn't really deserve it you know not everyone deserves the benefit of doubt some of you, you have given, really given people the benefit of doubt and you have just suffered because of that. Some of you, you really want to be in a relationship and that's the reason why you could have given the wrong people chances. And you have realized that you need to stop doing that. You need to be stop. You need to stop being too emotionally available or too vulnerable or too giving or... or um, you know, jump into a connection where you are not receiving, you are just giving. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a very hardworking, nurturing and giving kind of a person. So with the Queen of Swords here, you are learning that you can't be over giving to any situation relationship. Relationships need to be equal give and take, not one-sided. You can't just be the one who's, uh, you know, like carrying all the burden of the connection or relationship, trying to make it work. Going above and beyond. And look at that. Below the uh, Ten of Wands is the Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but yeah, you do have, you do want a new beginning. And you are someone who has a lot to give. So you need to be more careful while choosing your potential romantic partners. Some of you really are very uh, confused about this person. Four of Swords in reverse, the Hermit, Two of Swords. So you are, uh, when it comes to this person, you could be closed off as well here. Like emotionally, you are closed off. You don't know what to think about this person. You don't know what to do about this connection. Because you know what you want, but you are not getting that from this person here. You could be a little bit pessimistic about um, people right now as well here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, this is what you want. Well, look at that, Ace of Cups. We already have the Ace of Pentacles here, now we have the Ace of Cups. of cups 
Yeah, this is someone who's ready for a new beginning. Four of Swords. They wa they want a new beginning. Can you see that? Okay. They really can't. This is someone who's ready for a new beginning. They are looking for some sort of emotional wish fulfillment as well here. But this person is still like they're realizing, they're understanding, they're understanding what they have to walk away from. It's like this person understands that if they want a new beginning, they have to let go of a version of themselves that is not serving them anymore. So this person is someone who is very slow. They want a new beginning, but this, this is a very slow moving energy here. This person is first trying to, you know, heal themselves. Realize, like, this is what I need to let go this is what I need to change. This is what I need to walk away from. For some of you, this person has deep abandonment issues themselves. As I said, emotionally, this person has not gotten the love and care they deserved in their childhood. So they have to walk away from that version of themselves as well here. All right. It might take a while for this person to take some action. Right now, they're not going to take any action. Cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced, distorted. Thinking, missing you, craving, desiring. Yeah, someone, this is an, uh, someone who had cloudy judgment. They were not someone who's very balanced here. Could have been illusions. Yeah, boundaries. For some of you who have very strong boundaries right now. We did see the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You are learning. For some of you, you are learning to say no. You are learning to draw that line and have strong boundaries. You are learning to say enough. Loyalty, trusting, reliability, believing. This is the kind of a person or connection you want. Because you are someone who's very loyal. What the heck? Mm. I'm not gonna take these. One more card. Breaking point, limit, final straw, overwhelm. This person will, uh, they are going through a lot here. And look at that apology at the bottom of the deck. For forgiveness, return, sorry. This person could be feeling overwhelmed as well here. For some of you, you could have won, you could have been the one who reached the breaking point in this relationship or this connection. Because you were the one who was pulling the weight of this connection. And because we do have the four of swords in reverse, make sure you're not overwhelming yourself with working, working, working. Because you're gonna be burnt out. All right, well, that's your reading, Aquarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.